Um, I mean, oh, thank you. I, I think that I wanted to capture the spirit of what he did. Nathan and I, you know, there is some natural overlap in Nathan's comedic persona and my own. You know, we're, we're you know, we're kind of loud, Whoa. boisterous, <laughs> larger than life yeah. people. And um, so I wanted to capture some of that. But what was great is that Seth and I got to record together. So we got to improvise a lot and riff a lot and come up with new jokes. I think the majority of the Timon and Pumbaa dialogue in this version is new. To mm -hmm. be honest, not the songs, but the spoken dialogue, and that really helped differentiate the two. Yeah, yeah it wasn't quite a black box theater. No. It was sort of this like it was actually all white, I think. It was white. <laughs> it was just a big room it with a carpet like, and a lot of cameras filming us unusual. from a lot of angles. There yeah. was boom, there was microphones miking us, um, mm -hmm. and we just kind of performed the scenes. Yeah, it was a good opportunity to kind of get the scenes on their feet and and to humanize it to make it. Uh, right. You know, to really anchor it in the reality that we could relate to the most, which is just standing around performing it, you know? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, with the songs, you kind of have to s s stick to the script a little bit more. I mean, it's written the way it is. They're you know, songs. They're, they're, they're songs. You know, there's a specific <laughs> rhythm and specific notes. And, and we all know those songs work really well. John, Tim Rice know what they're doing. But within the song, sometimes there's still space for jokes. Uh, you know, you pause here, you pause there, you throw in some banter. And a lot of that stuff is new. I mean, that's obviously an iconic song, so there's pressure to get that song right. Um, but we tackled it the same way we did a lot of it, which is that we were all together. Donald Glover was in the room with us, too. And we also had Hans Zimmer, who did the original movie, so he really knows the music inside and out. And it was great to have him and John as guides for that. I think of the songs we sing, Hakuna Matata is the, is the one that Timon and Pumbaa really have to carry. Uh, and so, and there's pressure on that song because it's such a classic. And yeah. so, you know, you want to make sure Hakuna Matata Matata's funny, yes. uh, and that you're not just doing a carbon copy of the original, and I think, you know, I was very happy with how it turned out, though. We were really given a lot of range to, to create a, a, a new kind of type of dynamic in some ways, and a new style of comedy for the characters to have. I think what we both kind of tried to focus on was like a little bit more of like a conversational style and like to make it just feel as like naturalistic as possible like like two people interacting you know um and i think um that was and the fact that we were actually able to do it together was was again a, a very nice opportunity and and i think that's what i was really uh, uh, appreciated when i saw the movie was how it felt like incredibly naturalistic and and genuinely funny